Hey guys, Mabel Tell here. Welcome back to Three Designs, One Cat. Today we're drawing Dovewing. By request of Spectrewing, TJ the Entertainer, Rowan Hart, Flurry Howell, Minko Cinco, Stuart Palmer, V Dub Tech, and Someone Old's channel. Before I get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, special shout out to Clover Splash put together an amazing appreciation map for me. This project seriously blew my mind, and I'm so incredibly grateful for it. And for all the support. It's just so well done, and all the animators involved are so talented. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Alright, on to the drawings. Design 1. This is apparently my usual Dovewing design. I've only drawn her once as far as I could find. It's pretty basic, all grey with green eyes. I added some pale grey around her ears and eyes to reference her powers. So some Dovewing thoughts, okay. I've had a lot of feelings about Dovewing over the years. I remember liking her a fair bit when she was first introduced. Then I grew to dislike her, then became kind of neutral, and now I like her more than I ever did. She's far from my favourite character or anything, but I always like when she's in a scene, and I think there's a lot to like about her. Design 2. So for the next two designs, I'll look at a bunch of pictures of different doves. This design is based off a diamond dove, as I thought they were super pretty. I started with a grey-blue base, and added a grey back. Then I went in with white spots on the grey, and later also added some white to the underbelly. The eyes are blue because of the whole dove wing eye colour controversy and I added a little bit of red around and in the eyes to reference the dove that I was inspired by. I want to talk about dovewing switching clans. Back in the early arcs, I was super against cats changing clans. It just stressed me out. Which is kind of silly, but... Anyways, dovewing helped change my mind on that. I was really not into it at first. I didn't want her to leave ThunderClan. Especially not for Tigerstar's sake. But... I love her in Shadowclan. It just feels meant to be. Like she's found her place in the world. And it was interesting to read the dynamics between her and her old clan and with her new clan. The whole situation just gave me a new appreciation for clan switching. And I hope we get to see more of it in the future. There's honestly just a lot of potential there. Design 3. This design is based off a turtle dove. I started with a pale grey base and added a red grey to the underbelly and tail. Some dark brown patches are next, and I add some orange to the smaller patches. Lastly, golden eyes. Again because it's dove wing. <laughs> so what else to say about her? Say what you will about the power of three and Omen of the Stars and their super powered cats. But I think at least Dovewing and Jayfeather's powers led to some pretty interesting stuff. Lime Blazes were a little less intriguing to me, but that's besides the point. Anyways, it was cool to read from the perspective of Dovewing, who could see and hear things that no other cat could. And seeing how she reacted to losing those powers that she relied on for so long was heartbreaking. Anyways, I think that's about it for me, so enjoy the rest of the drawing.
Thanks for watching. It was fun to do some Dove Wing designs for you guys. Thanks again for the suggestion. Next three designs, one cat should be Bristle Frost, whenever that is. Anyways, I'll see you next Thursday.